Hello, hello, peoples. I am Michelle. This is my hospital bit of Vita. And you're watching Guns Who Left Rules NYC. Today, we're getting ready to go to the doctors. And I don't want to go. I'm wearing a snazzy t-shirt. This is disability does not equal tragic. But ableism does equal oppression. A little in case my doctor's like, I'm ableist. I'm like, I gotta read my shirt. Okay, we'll have to smooth down our hair. I'll get some water. Smooth this down. Make it look all attractive. <laughs> I got some water in my glasses. All right, so that that will dry. I think this is this is all coming together, folks. Coming together. I got this. Oh, I'm a beauty blogger. <laughs> <laughs> also, my hands are already shaking. They're already shaking. It's like if you don't do it every day, it just. They just, you hold this whole part of my, like up here, the northern part of my face goes, Bleh! <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on with my body on so many levels. Hopefully, this doctor will be of use. He <laughs> just, hey, everybody, I'm your cat purse. Uh, in addition to having all my insurance good and a little extra cash just in case it gets weird, is I have all my MRI um, discs through the years. Brain and spine. I'm hoping this appointment besides will kind of put me in the right direction to getting a proper wheelchair. Um, so I, I won't be mostly bed bound. That's why I'm mostly bed bound. I know I'm looking for a proper wheelchair, but also I'm hoping I can get an updated, at least spine MRI and possibly brain MRI. Okay. Oh, we have the referral. Cause I don't fuck around. I, it's not my first rodeo. Coming prepared. As well as the abundance of my MRI reports. Just like a small booklet of deterioration. I'm trying to go into this appointment with like very low expectations, but yet also, case this doctor is legit. I created some notes for the doctor. Basically, it's like it's the same goals of what I'd like to accomplish. So if this doctor is like a good doctor. Then he'll be like, great, let's work on these goals. If not, it's like, all right, but at least, you know, you gotta try. Like, I don't want to go to this. I don't really have very high expectations. But at the same time, it's like, if I don't go in, like, prepared, I'm just like, whatever. Like, why even go? You know what I mean? Like, this, just, you gotta try it, man. You gotta try. Also, I don't know if you can see. Hold on. I show my, my outfit. Ha <laughs> ha! So on Thursday, feelings, angst, <laughs> yeah, Thursday was just a shitstorm. <laughs> so what happened was, as you know, I had to go to this doctor appointment, which I was like, <laughs> about. I was supposed to arrive via, it was the chariot, that's, that's not it at all, via stretcher-based transport, because I can't physically sit up in the wheelchair for too long. So I was approved for Medicaid-based stretcher transport. Me and my PCA arranged for a ride via Medicaid-approved stretcher-based transport. We confirmed the ride twice to make sure that it was approved and ready to go. They said it was. What they did not tell me was that the vendor apparently has the right to cancel your trip two hours before they're supposed to arrive. And what they'll do is the kind of the main company, company it's connection to all the other individual vendors will call you. They won't leave a voicemail deleting this, so if you missed a phone call, maybe you're in the bathroom. Or maybe, oh, I don't know, no one told you this was a thing, so you didn't know to look for it. They just fucking cancel your ride, you know, and they're like, well, you're just gonna have to, like, you're just gonna have to, like, reschedule your, uh, appointment. And I'm like, oh, really? Is that all I have to do? No. This shit took me, like, a month and a half to even get this appointment. What I ended up doing was I decided to take a taxi. So, thankfully, one, most successful taxis exist, and two, when my mother had to stop to buy, she actually left me some emergency cash just for occasions like this. So I took a taxi. So another thing that happened is that apparently if you arrive in a stretcher, NYU will then provide you with a gurney or bed on wheels, a suitable substitute. However, 
if your ride gets canceled and you arrive in a motor rest wheelchair, no. At best, they offer you an exam table that can kind of be propped up, but really just did a number on my spine. On top of that, turns out my primary doctor sent me to the wrong doctor. Dr. Perry, very nice fucking human being. Still though, the wrong fucking doctor. So stay tuned for the next episode of Proper Wheelchair Quest. Will I actually see the right doctor? Will I get into the wheelchair clinic? Or will it just be another shitstorm? As always, be good to yourself, be kind to yourself, and thanks for watching. Bye.